Hello, Fossier, how are you today? Well, I hope you are happy and fine. Well, so today is Tuesday, the 4th of August, by by July. Hello, August. Yes, we are going to. First of all, I want you to do something very important. It's uh, to open your files. I have seen that many of you uh, open opened the um, corrections from the revision, but I want to be sure that you open all the files, all the corrections that I have made, yes, from the holiday homework. See if you understand all the mistakes. I think they are all clear because I put, uh, I circle them, I put uh, emphasis on the ones that you have um, made, on the mistake you have made, yes, but in case you have any uh, question, you can send me a message, yes? Okay, but then we are going to go, uh, then, then we're going to analyze the mistakes from the revision unit 8. Yes, okay, so correction plus mistakes from revision unit 8. You are going to open the file and you are going to see the mistakes from your revision. And then we're going to finish with the video watch 102, 103. Yes, today I'm not going to give you the three minutes video because I'm going to give you a rest, but you are going to work on the quadernisio pages 10, yes, pages 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14, yes, pages 10, wait a minute, pages 10, yes, okay, 11, 13, yes, okay, and 14, yes, okay, tenses. Then you are going to do composition, you are going to write composition number 4 from the list, yes, composition number 4, hello, composition number 4, composition number 4, you have moved to Rosario for going to the university. You have been very busy for the last six months, so you haven't written to your best friend in Formosa since then. Write a letter to tell her, telling letter to her, telling her about all the news. Mass words. Feel homesick, however, attach, sign up, Virus, forget, together and because, okay? So, it must have a hundred words. Yes, okay, is it clear? A hundred words. Yes, right. And then, you are going to do reading number one from the Quadernillo, reading number one. Because you know you have all the readings there. Wait a minute. Maybe wait. From page 104. A uh, hundred words. Yes? Okay. Is it clear? Right. And you know, you have all readings. Reading number one, reading number two. Please concentrate when you write, when you read, when you do the reading activities, please. Because I want you to be better in the reading, reading the skills for those who aren't okay in the reading skill. The majority of the tests were okay. Yes, okay. I'm very happy. Yes, I want you to check the mistake because that is a very important part that you check and understand mistakes, okay? Well, shall we go to the, uh, well, remember to open your files, see your holiday homework correction, and now I'm going to open the, um, the revision, yes, okay? Right. 
There we are. The writing part in unit seven, in unit eight, were very good, very good. Yes, I'm not also happy uh, in the um, in the um, in the grammar part. Yes, okay. So pay attention here. Right, there we are. Well, so we have number one, circle the correct option. Yes, number two, I've been reading. I've been reading present perfect continuous. Yes, okay. I've still got 50 pages to read. I still got. Yes, okay. Three, yes, three, have known. Three, have known, yes. Four, did you wait? How long did you wait or work before? Be careful here because the majority did wrong this part, this sentence. Or before the plane took off. That was the, um, the clue there. Yes, number five, has written, has written. Yes, okay. Well done. Let's go to number two. Much, yes, okay. So we have, be careful here because it was a, a difficult exercise, I think. Yes, okay, 3A, 3A, yes, 3A. Ma has been waiting for you over an hour, yes. He's feeling pretty cold and fed out. Yes, okay. 4B, 4B. Mark has waited for you for over an hour, but he's going home now. Yes, okay, good. Susie. Susie has been learning Japanese, Japanese in preparation for her trip. 5B. 5B. She's finding it quite hard. 6A. Susie has learned Japanese in preparation for her trip. She speaks it quite well after such a short time. 7. Yes, 7B. 7B. Yes, 7B. Is it clear? Good. I went once about 50 years ago. I've been to C, C City. Yes, before. 8. I've been going to Sicily. Sicily, perdón, Sicilia. Four years. Yes, I've been every summer for 15 years. Okay? Is it clear? Good. 9. 9A. 10B. 9A, I've been, I've been living with my brother for a few weeks. Yes, okay. And we have, I'm trying to find a place on my own. 10, I've lived with my brother for a year. B, yes, we get on well. We really get on well. We, we, we get on well. We get on really well, okay. Number three. Has gone. Has she been? Has done? Four, have you known? Have been polluted? Number five, have been polluted? Our bitches, four years now. Yes, okay. Haven't been working? Six, haven't been working? Yes, for very long. Yes, you better check with the manager. Have you been preparing? How long have you been preparing for this climbing expedition? Yes, okay. Number four. Circle. Taken. To walk. Yes, remember you have decided. Yes. Three. Yes, okay. Taking part, perdón. Taking part, comenzamos la frase con ING como sujeto de una oración, yes? Number three, to walk, 
Yes. Child. To walk. Yes. Adjetivo más to infinity. En ese caso, child to walk. Yes. It expensive to buy. Yes, it's the same example. This is an adjective plus to infinitive. It's expensive to walk, to buy. It's cheap to buy. Yes, it's nice to see. Is it clear? Good. Number five. Uh, is anyone interested in? You have preposition plus ing. Yes, coming. Okay. We are really looking forward to. Atención acá, eh? I am looking forward to hearing from you. ¿Se acuerdan cómo cerrábamos las letters? ¿Cómo cerrábamos las letters? Yes, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Yes, to ing. Yes, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Anótensela porque fue un error común esta. ¿eh? ¿Ok? Yes, is it clear? Look forward to hearing. Yes. Number seven, going. Number seven, going. Yes, okay. Fed up with preposición ing. Yes, is it clear? For ing. Number five, planning. Yes. Number three, us. Number five, number four, to work. Number five, coming. Number six, to arrive. Traveling. Eight, telling. Do you remember me telling you I want it? Yes? Do you remember me um, shutting the door before we went out? Is it clear? La actividad, ese momento que yo estaba cerrando la puerta, yes, ok, good, to go, yes, to run, seems to infinitive, sing, yes, ok, sing, the last one, sing, you talk about sing, yes, is it clear, and well, you have the message, it was very Ah, uh, good, yes, okay, you did it well there, okay, well, shall we go to the uh, video watch now, I want you to put the date on the two pages, on the two pages, yes, okay, this is a very interesting topic, 102, 103, from the two pages, is it clear, so, uh, here we're going to talk about Questions, these, these topics are questions and answer. And you are going to uh, uh, describe the picture, what you can see in the foreground, what you can see in the lens of the camera, what you can see in the background. I think it's a 10, an orange 10. And I can see there is, uh, in the background, I can see there is a man there sitting on a rock or on a kind of blanket, maybe. Yes, is it clear? Well, so, first thing uh, you will do, yes, is to describe the picture. Then, you are going to do circle exercises. One, two, three, from while you watch, yes, one, two, three, Yes, is it clear? And five, yes? That's all, yes, okay? So you are going to do one before you watch, two, key vocabulary, while you watch, exercise three and five, yes, okay? Three, four and five, yes, okay? There we are. So, um, shall we start? You are going to watch two videos, yes, in which national, we are going to see one, watch, we are going to watch one, yes, because we are going to work with the first part, okay? But uh, in this video, National Geographic Explorers 
give their personal answers to questions, yes? So before you watch, watch, I want you to think about this. What kind of work, yes, do explorers do? Where do they work, yes? Number two, what items might they need to take with them when they are exploring? And number three, why do you think people become explorers? Yes, so uh, this is um, a very interesting topic. Yes, so uh, if you were an um, explorer, what would you take? What item would you take with you? I would take a camera, yes, um, uh, to take photos, uh, to record uh, important um, facts, for example. What would you take? I want you to think at home and answer at home. Of course, you have to answer at home. Yes? Um, well, what else? What do they do? They travel around the world. Yes, they go to places. Um, uh, they do research. They find out about un unknown areas. Yes, okay. Um, they are often involved with the conservation of plants, wildlife, and a way of life. Yes, okay. Uh, they take photos, yes, and sometimes they are in danger. Yes, sometimes they are in danger because the photos they take aren't photos that you can take, for example. Yes, that's why sometimes they are. Uh, most of the time they are in danger. They can be in danger. Well, um, they make films, yes. Uh, they often work outdoors, yes, in dangerous, uh, an unknown place, yes. Okay, and it says what items, um, if you were an explorer, what, what, what items could you take with you? I could take a camera, um, what else? Uh, a GPS for not getting lost. Um, sunglasses. Uh, what else? Sunblock. Yes, sunblock also. Yes, because you have to protect yourself from the sun. Um, I could take um, a knife. And I, was, I could take a, a rucksack and all the equipment that I would need uh, to survive in case I get lost. Yes, okay. I mean survival equipment. Yes, okay. So This is very important. Yes, the equipment survival Equipment This is very important. Yes, okay a GPS Yes, okay well, or you can guide yourself looking at the stars, as people did in the past, yes, okay? And in number three, it says, why do you think people become explorers? Because I think they have a sense of adventure. Um, um, I think they want to um, escape, get away from uh, the normal life, the ordinary life. Um, I think the... Their purpose is to investigate um, in order to protect the environment, for example, in order to protect the place where we live, yes? So that is very important. And this a point in the before you work, in the before you watch, uh, we work on the things you think, on the thing I think, on the things I think, and then we go to uh, the key vocabulary. So we have the key vocabulary there, and we have, uh, have you got um, a marker? Yes, okay, a highlighter, binoculars, sunblock, paintbrush, curious, progress, okay. Uh, and you have to match those words, yes, match the words involved in exercise 2A with these definitions. Are you ready? A tool to paint with. I want you to answer at home. Yes, it's a paint paint brush. Number two, yes, sunblock. Yes, B, cream that protects your 
skin from the sand and of course if you are very white yes you have to take yes um, sunblock if, yes to protect yourself from the sun uh, number uh, three yes uh, 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 well so we have equipment with lenses for looking at things far away yes what's that yes well, binoculars, very good. D, improvement and development. D, improvement and development. Progress, well done. And then we have interested in something and wanted to learn about it. What's that? Interested in someone, in something and wanted to learn something about it. Yes, yeah, sorry. And that is uh, exercise four, curious, yeah? Uh, are you curious about the world? Are you curious about maths? Are you curious, curious about knowing new things? Yes, okay. Well, so now you are ready to watch the video and do exercises three and five. Yes, okay. Three and five. Yes, okay. That's great. Three, four, and five. Three, four, and five. Are you ready? There we are. Uh, the one thing I wouldn't leave home without. Ooh. Good question. question that is for you this is a very 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 good question and it could be in the final exam maybe what item would you not leave home without think about it and if I have to think yes it's very I, I'm thinking my daughters but, but they are not an item <laughs> yes okay what items yes could you not live home without? Yeah, think about it. I am think I am still thinking about it. Um, my keys. The first thing that come into my mouth, my is my keys. Yeah, because I have to lock the lock the doors. Yes, I have to be sure that when I am out, the door uh, the doors are locked. Yes, but. What about you? What do you think? What item would you not live home without? Yes, so I want you to think about it. Answer at home. Yes, okay. If I were an explorer, I wouldn't um, live home without my survival equipment, for example. Yes, okay. Shall we continue? Yes, think about it and answer this question at home. Uh, the one thing I wouldn't leave home without. Mm. <laughs> That's a good question. You know, when I'm packing, if I don't have a camera or my binoculars, then I feel new. I've got okay, binoculars, camera. So if he hasn't got his binoculars and his camera, he feels nude. What is nude? Yes, naked. Yes. The habit of carrying like a rosary and a knife? My GPS. Okay, a knife, the previous one, a knife. Then we have another GPS. Without a GPS, we would be still paddling in circles somewhere. <laughs> paddling circles somewhere. Yes, okay, without a GPS. <laughs> um, I always take DVDs, it's very sad. It just gives me something to, you know, look at. It's nothing to do with the field and just have a break again with it. D DVDs, yes, okay. DVDs or CDs? She said. And just have a break again. You know, look at it's nothing to do with something to you know, take DVDs. DVDs. Right, so it just gives me something to you know look at it's nothing to do with the field and just have a break again. Yes, in the moment, that mo moments where they don't have nothing to do. Well, she watches DVDs, that's a good idea. I haven't thought about DVDs. But 
They are explorers, you know? There's a lot of times where the power goes out. A headlamp has become sort of an essential tool, even though I might not have thought so at first. It's my hat. I've got a hat that I wear all the time, and I You get a hat, yes? It's my lucky hat. And so I make my discoveries with my hat on. Okay, so he makes, he has made all his discoveries with his hat on. So it's a kind of lucky thing for him. Sunblock. Sunblock. Uh huh. I am very, very white. I wear this. It's supposed to protect you. Icons, I don't care about anything. <laughs> well, the other woman, a kind of um, uh, bracelet, yes, that she thinks that this brace bracelet protects her. I need to make sure I have a local with me. That's the one thing I would never give up on. So you don't want to leave home without a pencil? The camera, the pencil, camera. The one thing I would not leave home without is a vehicle or a way to record that which I'm experiencing. Something to record, yes. And now it's your turn, yes. It has been your turn before because we have already talked about it before playing it. What item would you not leave home without? Yes, so uh, this video or this unit is about this, yes. You know, Today I'm not going to give you a three minutes video, but it could be in a three minute video then, because I have uh, given you a uh, homework from the Quadernisia, so then I'm going to add this question. But think about it at home. What item would you not leave home without? Yes, okay? Your cell phone, your keys, your ID. Yes, okay. My keys on my um, bag, yes, my purse, yes, okay? where I have my, my ID and everything, yes, okay? Well, um, I remember to stop the video, yes, see it again, yes, and then listen to the answers, okay? I will go to the answers, right? Well, um, well, you know, in exercise three, you have, you have what item which you not leave home without, you have to answer because that is your opinion. Then in exercise four, you have one, yes, GPS, two DVDs, three sunblock, four pencil, camera, paintbrush, vehicle, way, yes, something to record, he said, yes, okay, and um, number five, yes, okay, One, camera, binocular, knife, GPS, DVDs, yes, headlamp, hat, sunblock, local person, pencil, camera, and paintbrush, yes, you know, uh, well, that is done, yes, okay, and, well, think about this question, what item would you not leave home without yes okay so do the homework concentrate on the quadernijo pages because these are very important pages because they are prepared for you to revise everything tenses reading a grammar yes okay everything okay and then you have the composition so you will practice in this homework grammar reading and writing yes bye bye see you next class